also canning day. Yay! <laughs> Starting on the second, my mother-in-law was over here and we were making it together for the first batch. But now we are moving on to the second one and she went ahead and went home and I'm going to finish everything out. So, fun times. I'm just going to kind of share a little bit on how I make my salsa. What's wrong, Lily Lily? What's wrong, Lily Lily? Hey. Um, Hi. Um, oh goodness, Mama, you love Mama, and Mama's been so busy. But um, we took all the tomatoes we were going to use, and we blanched them, which means that you boil some water and you put tomatoes in there for 30 to 60 seconds until their peels start to either split or they'll kind of puff up just a little bit. And then you take them out and you put them in water that has ice in it. Um, and then you're able to take the peels off very, very easily. Okay, so I'm gonna core my tomatoes and take out as much of the big chunks of seeds as possible. And then I'm gonna dice them up pretty small, not tiny because I do like a little bit of chunk in my salsa, but not too much. And so, once that's done, I will add it to the pureed mixture. So the tomatoes end up being like that. So, about like that. Um, and so I'm going to do that to all the tomatoes over here and add Does she like it? Yeah. And the applesauce and broccoli. Mm -hmm. I can see the broccoli and applesauce. Thank you for helping her with it. Is it all gone? No. Oh, she's getting too much. Oh, oh she still got my I think she might be done. Are you done? Thank you, Tanner. Tanner. <laughs> Tanner's in here with me. Old stinker. Okay, um, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of bell pepper and then I'm gonna put in some jalapenos and um, then I will put in some cilantro and lime. But for right now, I'm gonna chop these peppers up. I'm gonna do them very small. Um, oh, and onions, onions. I like just a little bit of bite to my salsa. I like it to be almost, almost like a pico style salsa. So I put purple onion and then a sweet onion. So, and we've been using these in the other batches. So that's why there's just pieces. Oops. Um, so <laughs> I dropped a piece. So, so far we have put a half of a red onion, half of a sweet onion, two jalapenos that were seeded and diced up, and one and a, one bell pepper, yes, one large bell pepper. And um, now I am going to add six cloves of garlic. Now, I am not mincing my own garlic. Sam's has this big, lovely thing of already minced garlic. 
and a half of a teaspoon equals one clove. So one full teaspoon equals two. So one, two, three full teaspoons is what I am going to do. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to take a lime, cut it in half. This helps with the acidity, especially if you are preserving things. And now we're going to add our spices. And I do about, this is only a half of a teaspoon right here. I'm gonna do one and a half of salt. Then, I don't really measure all that much. So, I am going to take, I do buy this in bulk, but I couldn't find my bulk one, and I had this one in there, so I'm just gonna give some shakes and kind of eyeball it. And salsa, the good thing about salsa is it's very forgiving flavor-wise. You can just kind of add what you want and what you know you like to it. And um, you can adjust it based on the taste and what you think it needs. Okay, and I am going to add a little bit of oregano. Spin backwards. And then we need some cilantro. So now I have added about half a cup of, of fresh chopped cilantro. I can't talk. Cilantro. I can't talk. Anyway, um, and so now I'm going to add about a fourth a cup of apple, apple cider vinegar. And um, I'm only gonna do a fourth of a cup because I added lime and my tomatoes are fairly acidic as well. And so as far as acidity, we should be good for food preservation. Of course, always, always um, consult like the Ball Blue Book for canning or any kind of guidelines that, recipes that have correct guidelines surrounding them. I have made this for a very long time and so I feel comfortable um, making this and it has preserved well in the past so that's why I'm good with so this. The next thing is I've got my salsa in here. I am going to turn my eye on and once it comes to a simmer I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes. While that's going on I have my pressure canner that I, whoop, I forgot it was still hot from earlier. <laughs> Um, I have my pressure canner that I'm actually just using as a water bath. I just have the lid just set on there so it's not actually accumulating actual pressure. Um, so I am going to heat this up to get the water to the point where it is simmering as well so that once I put all of this salsa in jars then it can go straight into the water bath and begin the caning process. Um, another thing is that I do is I also need to turn my oven on and turn it down as far as it will go which I believe is about 170 I wish I had just a warm button I could push but um, once it gets to 170 then I will push start and let it start heating and I'm going to take some of the jars that I have already sanitized and set them in there because the point is is that you want the jars to be very very warm when for when you put the salsa in you don't want to put pretty much boiling hot salsa into cool can or into cool jars because they can burst and so um so yeah you just don't want to do that and here are some that we've already done the lids have already gone down i can fill that but these are going to need to sit for the next 12 hours um, and then I'll check the seals and the lids on them then and then I will date them and then I will put them away so there's 
there's eight already and um, we should get about eight to ten more from this so that's a lot of salsa and I'm excited about it it is super super yummy um, this one's a little more chunky once it boils down some though it will get to where it's not quite as big chunky um, it, all the flavors will mesh. You'll want to taste your salsa again just to make sure it's the right flavors. If you want to add salts or any whatever you want to add. Um, and then you can do that before you actually put it in your canning jars. So while I've been canning, Daddy's taking care of dinner. And he's making homemade pizza. Yummy. <laughs> That's a big ball of dough. Who ever thought I could make bread? Eight pizzas of that. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I am putting my lids on. So, let's see. Got my little handy dandy jar lifter here with my magnet. Gotta make sure it's all lined up. And then you put the ring on, not as tight as you can make it, but to where it's fingertip tight. Like that. All lids are on and the water is boiling. So I am going to lower these down into the water. Now they are all in and I'm gonna put the lid on and they are going to um, process for about 15 minutes and then I will turn it off, let it sit for five and then take the lid off. I wanna add one more time, I am not turning this, I am not closing this, I am not waiting this, I'm using it as a water bath canner and not a pressure canner right now. So there is no pressure rising. I just want to reiterate that. Here is our next batch and it is all done. And there's a few of them that have already popped. If you listen really close, maybe while I have the camera on, you'll hear a few more. Oh, there went one. Um, and then John is working on the pizzas. I'll show you a sneak peek of one of them. Yummy. This pizza is mine and Asher's. Yum. Oh, he popped the bubbles. I like the bubbles. He popped them. Yummy. That loud noise you hear in the background is our prehistoric dishwasher from the 70s. Um, because my precious husband decided he was going to clean up the kitchen for me, which I really appreciate. But on top of that, he also, we had a lot of tomatoes left over and I had every intention of making at least two quarts of vegetable soup to put in the pressure canner, but I just, I was exhausted. So he took them, he dosed them up and he put them in Ziploc bags and put them in the freezer just so we can use them for things like chili or whatever we need dosed tomatoes for. So he's a sweetheart. Not to mention he made us dinner tonight, which was delicious. So, 17 cans, jars, whatever, of salsa. I'm tired, I'm going to bed, and thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening, day, morning, whenever you see this.